Fredericton. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, and I encourage the member to continue his response uh, here if he wishes as well. I just, I appreciate so much, you know, the personal contributions and it's so important for us to understand. Um, and, you know, I, I was not here for the previous discussion around this um, this bill and, and here we are in a very difficult position again. Um, I've, I've studied it, I've consulted with my writing, um, I've consulted with many, many people, people who are accessing uh, MAID, uh, people in the disabilities community with their concerns. Uh, and I was very comfortable with where I landed in, in support for this bill, but I come from a position of privilege and I want the member to also be comfortable, you know, as a parent. Um, and I, I want the member's son to be safe as well. Um, so I'm just wondering about, is it the interpretation that you're worried about that people will see people with disabilities as, as experiencing suffering? Um, because that's really where the bill is, is focusing on someone who's in pain. Um, so I'm just wondering, is that the concern about the interpretation and the application of law for, for those in the disabilities community? Um, I, I just need to understand you know, where the fears are really, really coming from. Thank you very much. Bo member for Brantford Brant. I appreciate that very personal question. The fear comes from this. P parents and caregivers and the community in general around persons with disabilities know that there will come a time in their lives when that care may deteriorate away and society no longer values persons who they interpret as being imperfect. And if you look at the trajectory of euthanasia and assisted suicide uh, legislation across the world. That's indeed the direction it's going. It's going in the direction of this, that eventually, maybe not now, not through this piece of legislation perhaps, maybe there's good intent, and I would hope that there is, but eventually we as legislators, we now as legislators, must decide there are lines we cannot cross. That's why I say, stay safe, my son, because I will no longer be here to keep him safe. And that is the fear of most parents.